Hey everybody, welcome to Adventures with Hoop and Zach. I'm Hooper. And I'm Zach. And this is a special episode of Getting Crafty called Special Reserve. Okay everybody, this is our Special Reserve beer. It is a beer that is $30, $30 or above. So why don't you tell them what it is. So this particular one is a bourbon barrel aged dark star chocolate vanilla and maple syrup 2019 by Fremont Brewing. It's a double American Imperial Stout. It's a $30 bottle and it's 13.1% alcohol. So it's definitely be packing a punch. Yeah, I'm really excited to tap into this one. Yeah, so am I. So presentation wise, it's a great elegant looking bottle. It's got the golden wax on it, got a little bit of a sparkle to it. Label itself, it's got like a crest. I'll bring it up here so y'all can see it. Uh, it's got like a dragon crest looking thing on there. Um, the wax is mainly designed for the bottle specifically to keep it from being oxidized. And which is great. Really good when you're wanting a high quality beer. I love the bottle presentation. I think the bottle presentation, it's cool. It makes me feel that I'm drinking something better than beer. You know what I mean? Something elegant, something fancy, something that if I want to show off, I'm going to get this bottle. It's a nice bottle. Yeah. Now, with that said, let's get to the pour. Let's get to the pour. Okay, everybody, so we're back. We just poured. Now, first looking at it, obviously it's very, very dark. That is a dark beer. Tilt the glass a little bit. It's definitely got some good uh, hard legs. Definitely sticking to the side of the glass. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, you get those rich, deep chocolate notes. Yeah, a lot of chocolate. Definitely some bourbon. I'm definitely oh, some bourbon. Yeah, the bourbon is present. I'm getting some of that vanilla. Vanilla? Yeah. A little bit of vanilla. A little bit of the coffee. Mm, okay, I'm getting less coffee than I normally get on any other uh, style I so far. I don't know if I'm getting the maple syrup. I'm definitely getting less coffee. Coffee. Yeah. Bourbon, alcohol, vanilla, chocolate. Chocolate. With a touch of coffee. Yeah. You ready for the taste test? I'm ready, man. Cheers. Cheers. That is so much smoother than I was expecting. It is sweet. Wow. It is very sweet. Super vanilla. sweet. Vanilla. Vanilla. Oh, so much vanilla. So, uh, vanilla. Chocolate. This weird combination of vanilla and chocolate, and then the but bourbon. it has the heavy notes of vanilla right and the here. bourbon right here. It's right here. I don't taste it at all in my mouth, but I feel the heat in my chest. Mm -hmm. Maybe the maple syrup on the thickness, maybe a little bit as it's sticking, but I'm not getting it really. Yeah, that that this definitely has a heavy chest kind of drink to it. Not something to be drank in the summer, not in the sun. This is definitely a sipper. Um, it's pretty delicious. I mean, mm. it almost tastes like you've been eating mm. like roasted marshmallows. Maybe a little maple. Yeah, the maple's very slight. It's very minimal. Uh, maybe the stickiness a little bit. Maybe a little bit of the maple flavor on the end. Um, I'm trying to warm this up in my hands a little bit. What about see. a... Yeah, because it, it is cold right now. And usually, stouts, we have noticed, get a little bit better as they start getting room temperature. Yeah, because the, the, the flavor, more of the flavors have to come out. Yeah. Um, what about oatmeal? The oatmeal is what provides the creaminess. It's not so much of a flavor. Um, it's it's like, it's almost like if you're mm. going to do okay. like a milk stout, but it adds to the creaminess. Did you know what kind of bourbon, what kind of barrel this was in? It said bourbon. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I write that all in the name. Dude, the amount of complexity that this beer has, it's, it's, it's delicious. This is a beer that you definitely want to get to share with the buddy. It definitely earned its price tag. Um, and like you just I would, said, I, I said, I would 100% agree with that. This is a definitely a $30 beer. And like you just said, I definitely wouldn't drink this by myself. I would definitely share this with somebody. This is one of those, one, it's heavy enough where I don't. I wouldn't want to drink it by myself because it would start to ruin it. Because um, it's, it's really, really rich. I mean... It's not overly chocolate. It's just 
it's, 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 nothing's overly anything in this, but yeah. it's just it's so heavy and rich in general. I can honestly tell you, if you were to try to drink this by yourself, you'd probably get a stomach ache. Yeah, and you'd be really messed up. <laughs> yes, this is definitely a share. I could see a good cigar going this, some cheesecake maybe. Oh yeah. The thing is, is the vanilla that's in this is is it's strong enough in here that it makes it sweet. And it entices you to keep drinking more. Yes. The, without going overboard. The vanilla definitely brings you back. Yeah. You know when, when you have chocolate, ice cream, and vanilla, and they kind of melt together? Yeah. It's exactly what it is. It's so good. You know, this is a next level beer. This is definitely something that to share with the buddy, to bust it out, or to go to somewhere and buy it. I feel like this is a bottle that could have probably sat in my fridge for another two years and it would have been amazing and what i like about this it's not ultra thick it's not syrupy thick yeah which for me that's when it starts to go past the point with stouts where it's too much i don't like it when it's syrupy mm. this is i mean when i tilt it there's some legs on it but it's not like other stuff that we've had where it's just like you're drinking a thick molasses like mortar oil yeah <laughs> so Guys, Vermont Brewing Company, cheers. Appreciate it. Hats off to you. Absolutely. Great, great job on this beer. Absolutely worth the $30. I even have to 100%. say, I think this is better than the last Special Reserve video we did. It's tasty. It's just... Okay, it's, okay, <laughs> you know what? Like, it's... Really, I'll go with that. Yes, <laughs> yes. It's... Dude, yeah. This is really, really because, good. You know why... This one hit more everything on the money. And the fact that everything just yeah. coincides perfectly together. Everything's blended really, really well. You get all the flavors, but nothing's overpowering each other. It's just enough of everything where you enjoy everything. Nothing's making you go, oh, man, that's too much. Yeah. Fantastic, amazing beer. So glad we can enjoy this together. Cheers. With man. my best friend. And like always, like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. I am Hooper, and I'm Zach, and remember, make, make every, every day, day an adventure. adventure.